I'm this close to switching sides. I'm this close to switching sides. Men are trash. I swear. I literally open up my phone. I get like a WhatsApp message. And it's from this guy like maybe like 10 years ago I used to talk to. And it literally had a photo of him and his wife. Like Mary. Like a, you know, like a wedding photo. And he was like, hey, like, do you want to come to like my game? I was like, um, aren't you married? Maybe ask your wife to come to your effing game. Like, the audacity men have in 2024 is off the chain. Like, y'all, I'm, I'm about to jump set ship and just switch sides. You need to. You're going to love it so much. There will only be two of you left when the man is taken out of the picture. I'm not criticizing the man who was supposed to be cheating on his wife because I don't believe a word she said. They hadn't talked in 10 years, but all of a sudden... He came back without even trying to hide it. Hey everyone, it's great to see you all again. Women's delusional dating standards has left them alone and single. Let's begin right away. There are five things that a high or highly desired woman should require in order to fully commit to a man. Number one, that her man be the full provider and provide for her completely. She should not commit to any man who is not the breadwinner in the relationship. Number two, she should always make sure that not only is he searching for a wife, but that he is also looking to be a husband. A lot of men want women to be these amazing dream wives and dream girls and have all these perfect qualities, but they themselves don't even know what it is to be a husband. They're not prepared to be a husband, and they're not prepared to lead a woman, a family. If you are going to commit fully on a girlfriend level, you definitely want to make sure that he's looking for a wife. And you must only give him one year of your time to propose to you. Highly desired women know what they want and they're not going to wait on anybody to get their act together, to save up, to buy a ring. You have one year. One year. After a year, ladies, time to move on. You do not want to waste your youth on a man who doesn't know what he wants and you will easily become the placeholder. That's where we see women that are in relationships for five years, kids out of wedlock and everything is just backwards. And now she's just staying because she's wasted so much time. She wants to get something out of it. What is she hoping for? A ring. One year leads to two years, leads to three, leads to four. Cut it off. Number three, a highly desired, high value woman is also going to require that she is the only woman in his life. Highly desired women do not tolerate cheating, other women, other options, backup plans. No, baby. I'm not even my dad's second daughter. I come second. She needs a man to make a lot of money, of course. If not, who will pay for all of her plastic surgery? I'm really interested in seeing how she looks without all the makeup and surgery. Hey, guys, I have something to tell you. You don't want to be next to her when you wake up. Why do I say that? Because you'll think you were ripped off. She has worked hard on herself, but she still looks awful. She also said that men aren't ready to be husbands or leaders, but it looks like she's ready to get married. Does she seem like she'd be willing to follow a man? Ladies, a man can only lead you if you're willing to follow him. I believe she's just looking for a fool. What would you do if you started dating someone new and he started telling you that he doesn't like it when you go to certain places, he doesn't want you going out to the clubs, he doesn't want you to have friends that are very easily swayed by men, and he doesn't want you to have social media. He wants you to only go out with him, mainly, or with your family, to nice restaurants, to nice places where there's not a lot of men that surround you. Would you be put off or would you give in and say, all right, fair enough? Part of me understands where he's coming from. It's not me that he's worried about. He's worried about other men and their intentions because he is a man and he knows how men move. I find it attractive when I'm with someone that is kind of controlling and tells me what I can and can't do. But when it is to this extent, I kind of get kind of put off. Do you know what I mean? Because I shouldn't be restricted at such a young age from going out to places and I shouldn't be told that I shouldn't have social media just because he doesn't want men preying on me or looking at what I'm putting out. I think this is so extreme. Am I bugging out? I don't want him to feel like I'm disrespecting him and not living up to his standards and disrespecting his boundaries because he could easily walk away but then I shouldn't even be scared because I should be standing my ground and knowing my worth and if he doesn't align with my morals then he can just leave. There's so many men in this world but at the same time he should have enough faith and enough trust in me to know that I am not going to give in to temptation and no matter who I'm around, no matter what I'm doing, my eyes will never wander because I'm happy with what I've got at home. But are you really? For now, all of this is just a guess because you don't have anyone at home. Maybe you'll find someone later. If you want to find someone who believes the same things you do, try. You should find someone who doesn't mind if you post bikini pictures of them on social media. 
Find someone who doesn't care about the truth and call them a friend. Find someone who doesn't mind that you're going to the club on Tuesday nights. You won't remember much about your trip home because you were drunk. It really is that simple. That being said, I won't try to find a guy who likes bikinis and then tell my girl to stop if I don't like her doing those things. So I started dating again. I've been getting a lot of questions on my standards when doing so. So let's go through rules. And although I'm up for anything, I will not be going on a walk for a first date and I will not be coming to your house on the first date. I am only attracted to healthy masculine energy and a provider mentality. If I find out you don't have this, bye. And lastly, physical intimacy. Just because you took me out on a date and paid for my dinner doesn't mean I owe you any sort of physical intimacy. If you try and get pushy with the kiss when I haven't hinted that that's what I wanted, bye. Oh, so you're out here with a list. Like you're looking for men to play roles on The Bachelor, Provider Edition? It sounds like you only need healthy masculine energy and a provider mentality. No walks or house calls. Ladies, this isn't a job interview, and guys aren't waiting in line to be your personal bank. Don't act like a guy needs a treasure map to figure out if he can kiss you either. No one said you owed anyone physical intimacy. Breathe. If you want a man to treat you like a queen, you sound more like a boss giving out reviews. Instead of dating like you're looking for a trophy husband, you might want to show some human energy and set reasonable goals. Made a dating back. So we're going to go over it together. Number one, flowers every single month. This is a non-negotiable. Life hack, if a guy has an assistant, you'll always get beautiful flowers because she's usually like a cute young girl and she knows the vibe. If he doesn't have an assistant, you'll get like purple and orange flowers. So you really need to tell him which kind of flowers you like. Downside to if he has an assistant, he probably has a crush on her. So, you know, I, I don't know. Get ugly flowers. I have a crush on these. I don't know which is better. Second, must plan because Amanda has a job. Even if you don't have a job, holla. Um, they need to be planning. Even if it's dinner at home, they need to be planning. They need to look up recipes. This is a dating boundary. At 19, you asked me to hang out two hours before. I'm fucking there. I'm there early. At 26, I'm not there. I must tell Princess Amanda she's beautiful every single day. This is probably the most important one. When I am dating somebody, I need them to tell me how hot I am. I need them to like me every single story. I need them to respond to every single story. I need them to tell me I'm the most beautiful princess in all of the land. Um, and I live in LA, so I know that's false, but I don't give a shit. Communicate, tell me I'm hot. Communication is very important. Uh, communicate how hot you think I am. This one is very important. I will never touch a doorknob. I will never touch a doorknob i am not like doorknobs to me i'm like what is that what what is that i don't know what they are open it close it give me a, a precious cargo in and out this dating guide is so long that i don't know where to begin so you're out here asking for flowers every month personalized recipes and constant princess level compliments like you're in an instagram fairy tale it's not true that men plan their days to make sure you never touch a doorknob or that they treat you like royalty every time you post a selfie. What about the flower part? If the thing that worries you most about your relationship is whether or not his assistant likes flower arrangements, you might want to change your priorities. Also, insisting that he plans everything while all you do is ask for compliments and avoid knocking on doors? You're telling yourself you can be a diva all the time if you do that. Just so you know, Relationships aren't one-sided worship sessions where the guy is the butler and you're the queen of communication through Instagram direct messages. Before you expect every guy to roll out the red carpet and remember the florist's number, you might want to add some humility and effort to the mix. I thought you guys were kidding when y'all were saying that girls were fangirling over Wade Wilson. I just saw a TikTok. I was like, I want to see this because apparently he was missing his teeth because they got knocked in as they should. And I stumbled upon a video of, I guess, maybe his defense attorney. And they're like talking about how she looks at him. And the comments are all like, I don't blame her. He's so fine. We'll free you, Poppy. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all need some therapy. Like, I'm sorry. Just because he's attractive, we get to just ignore that he murdered two women seek help don't worry though the same girls will pick a bear over a guy unless the man was the one who looked at two women my normal life is now messed up for me go after the bear
but him. He did look good in his suit, though. That's the last suit he's ever going to wear, if that helps anyone. Girls, are you tired of your dates canceling on you without getting time? Then let me introduce you to my cancellation policy, which I will be sending to all men who ask me on dates. Please note, if you are dating broke men, you may need to adjust your prices accordingly. Anyway, my cancellation policy is as follows. A cancellation of any date requires a minimum of 48 hours notice. If canceling within the 48 hour window of your date, a fee of 350 US dollars is required to be paid prior to rebooking. Now, if canceling within the 24 hour window of your date, a 500 US dollar fee is required in addition to an Uber Eats delivery of my choice for the original scheduled date time. My food selections and delivery address will be provided to you upon receiving your cancellation. Now, if you do not show up for your date, a 750 US dollar fee is required to be paid and you will be unable to rebook future dates. And now for those repeat offenders, if you cancel within 48 hours more than one time, you will be placed on a banned list, otherwise known as a no re-entry list, and your access to rebooking dates will be revoked. It is important to note that at this time, I do not offer payment plans, so payments will be accepted in full via Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, or cashier's check. Now, it is extremely important that you send over the cancellation policy before committing to a date. If a man cannot agree to the terms and conditions of your cancellation policy, then he will also be added to the band, otherwise known as no reentry list. It's really cool that you have a full cancellation policy, like you're running a fancy hotel. That girl. You're not the Ritz Carlton. You're on a date. You must be living in a fantasy world if you think men will pay $750 because they didn't show up. What's next? A fee to cancel the good morning text message? And let's be honest, asking for Uber Eats as payment for a canceled date? You're acting like a guy had to change his plans, so you deserve a five-star meal. If you treat every date like a business deal, the men might not be canceling as much as the fact that you're trying to make money off of normal human interactions. This policy screams, I'm way too high maintenance, and you'll definitely be put on your own no re-entry list since no one is signing up for it. You might want to stop acting like a contract lawyer and focus on making a real connection instead of using dating as a way to make money. If you like the show, click like to let other people know. You'll know when I add new pictures if you click the bell. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Again, click here to see more videos of people running into walls.